Monday, October 17th. We're sitting right about 8 p.m. Uh, got about uh, 11 acres of beans left. I think we're going to get them done. Uh, going this uh, wind is howling pretty good. It's kind of coming up my behind right now. Uh, it is blowing pretty hard still. Uh, kind of a cut up field. This is a field we pulled out of there a couple of Saturdays ago. But this is our last field of beans to cut. So I wanted to give you a quick update. There you can see the kind of wind blowing. We turn around, I can really show you how much that flag is blowing around. But wanted to give you a quick update on the farm. But got the combine back. Uh, Brought the combine back home Saturday afternoon, got in the bean field at 2 o'clock. Pack up beans till about 9.15 that night. Uh, covered 75 acres, so pretty good, two fields. I was pretty happy, I wouldn't count on getting that much. Wind kind of blew all night, kind of blew quite well really. There's the wind blowing. Uh, you can see the beans kind of shaking around in there as well. Uh, this might be a night you can cut all night. It's supposed to be a hard freeze tonight. I'm kind of doubting it really for that's the way the wind's blowing, but it can still quit towards daybreak too. But as of right now, it uh, looks pretty good. Uh, this is our last hill, as I said, so we may go cut our Milo. Uh, we'll know more tomorrow. I gotta call the guy and make sure everything's still good. He can he's got room for it and all that. Uh, I'd like to at least get a three loads in to flush our combine out because we are a uh, food grade corn. So uh, we don't want to contaminate any corn bins with beans. We're allowed five beans in a probe, but would as soon still not have to worry about it and not do anything about it. Sorry guys. Uh, so I figured three loads of Milo will get it good and flushed out, uh, get them all out. Uh, and we always blow the inside out of it anyway and get them all out. but. I usually use a pressure washer, take the nozzle off and just kind of wash them out, float them out, works very, very well. Uh, our grain trucks, we take a screwdriver and get all the crevices out, semi open the doors, call it good. Grain cart, we kind of get in there a little bit on occasion. Uh, sometimes we just open the bottom door, go up through where we're going to the corn field and call it good. Then I usually open my trap doors, nose into some corn, get a little corn, flush it out, and knock it on the ground. And same way with the unload auger, just like to get every opportunity to get the bean out as well because we I mean it's a lot of crevices for stuff to hide into so but we figured three loads of milo would get all that flushed out but we may do it all we're just got to see if we can find a trucker to help us haul uh hopefully we can but i'm not guaranteeing anything right now uh they're all pretty well busy yeah i hit the wrong button so it wasn't gonna go down uh so, I mean, I hope I'm going to call one in the morning or see what our plan is. We're just going to do three loads. We, it's no big deal. We can get that. We can do an NCGA, or a, not an NCGA, a sorghum producer's yield contest while my hired guy is gone and put it in one of our trucks. And we can flush out a uh, bean auger that same way. So that'll kind of work as well or put two loads through it and be good enough. So tomorrow we'll know a lot more tomorrow, but I will probably upload this tonight when I get home or start it. And it shouldn't upload. It won't be very long. So I'm trying to kind of keep pushing, but there you can see the flag really blowing. So we're still blowing pretty good. Uh, like all of our beans, these are uh, one way. You can, they're this way here. I can do decent, decently do very, very good picking them up. The other way, I mean, they're kind of every dang which which direction. I am still not very happy how I'm picking them up, but everybody. Behind, look, looking behind all the combines this year and the platforms, I do not feel bad at all. So I'm not as pissed off seeing some other guys how they've combined. So I just one of the things you do as much as you can. Uh, I got the silk, sickle tilted quite a bit, very, very lot more than I'm used to, which I usually run at night, but I'm trying, I'm just getting into more dirt right now in some places. So got to rock back some, but just kind of going decently here just kind of rocking and rolling uh, yield monitor is still off guys uh, running through the iPad or the grain cart and all that so I'm not too worried about it but we're we were about 2% low I'll know a lot more here when we get in the, another field we come on today but I, I'm good with that the grain cart scale showed all so and uh, 
kind of you put that back in the iPad for the field view and do it back that way. So that's just kind of how I did it. Kind of got to the point we've just been so busy and frustrated with this combine breakdowns, but now we're just driving. Uh, but it's working. We're going good. Uh, things are going good. But I want to give you a quick update. Well, maybe I might post something tomorrow. I might upload a video tomorrow morning. I'm going to blow the air filter out. We're having some issues. There's a tube that goes from above the air filter to the exhaust. It keeps plugging up. It's plugged up twice. We've went through three filters, so. Uh, we're wondering if it ain't plugged up again, so we may try and blow it out, but I'm going to blow, I just put another filter in today, so we're going to try and blow, I'm going to try and blow it back out before we start Milo and just make sure all that bean crap is out of it, so we shall see, but I, I know that cap filter needs to blow it out because just these beans are just, oh man, it's just nasty guys, it's bad. Uh, like everywhere, uh, no rain, like a little bit of rain, so uh, doing quite well, but shall see, uh, like I said, we may try and do some Milo, may do some corn. Just It's kind of up in the air yet. There's the hired guy coming to catch me in the grain cart. But that's my update. I uh, hope you all have a good night. I'll try and get this done tonight if I remember it. Thank you. Enjoy the video.